Hey guys, welcome to today's video. We are going to be doing an almost full face of luxury makeup products that I haven't used in a while. I thought I'd pull them out and make some use out of them. Now, I do have a few eyeshadow palettes from Shantakai, which I haven't used in a while. I've got the Giraffe palette. I have the Leopard. No, so this is the Leopard palette right here. And this one is the Cougar palette. So we've got these lovely, you know, eyeshadow quads by Shantakai and the Giraffe palette here, um, which I actually haven't used in a while. Don't know if I'm going to use them, but then I've also haven't used in a fair bit is these eyeshadows by Chanel. Now this one here is the, yeah, the Mediterranean 747, which is this compact, whoops this beautiful compact right there. It's just got your basic neutral brownie taupey shades. And if you wanna know what dropped, it was obviously the little eyeshadow um, sticks that come with it. Then we've also got by Chanel, the tweed packaging, brunette rose. So we'll take that out and give that one a bit of a whirl. You know what? I'm going to use this palette today, the rose. This is what I think would be a good one to use. So let's get on with prepping the face first. I'm going to start off with a product that I really haven't used in such a long time. It's the By Terry Brightening CC Serum. And this is the glowing base. And it's the number four Sunny Flash. So I'm going to give that a shake. And I am going to be applying everything today on my base with just a paddle brush. Spreading some of that sunny flash over the face and working that in. This will give a nice bronzing effect and it also has skincare which is good. Now all I have is last night's skincare on my face at the moment and I do have a layer of sunscreen on, which is just my usual L to MD, SPF 46 UV clear sunscreen. So I just thought pull out these products because they're probably gonna expire very, very soon. Even though eyeshadow doesn't really expire in my opinion, it's my opinion. <laughs> um, I think eyeshadow can last forever if you store it well, to be honest. Uh, but yeah, I'm just, I just thought it would be nice just to have some of my luxury products used once in a while. All right, now we're gonna go in and I'm actually gonna conceal under the eyes first. I'm just using the Hourglass Vanish Concealer. And this is one of my favorite concealers in the whole world. I'm just wiping off the excess there. And applying that straight under the eyes. And I do have a concealer brush that I'm gonna to use to work that in, which is, where are you hiding? It's somewhere in, somewhere in the ether of brushes. Here we go, I found it. I'm just gonna work that concealer in. One of my most favorite concealers because it literally sinks right in, hydrates, it's not drying. I don't find it goes and settles into any fine lines. It's full coverage, but you can sheer it out. Now with the remaining conceal, I'm just gonna put that over the lids. I'm not really concerned about priming the eyelids at all today uh, because I'm not going to be going out all day and night. It's just going to be a lunch. We are taking out my mum for her birthday today. She turns 69. So looking forward to, to catching up with my brother and having a nice lunch with mum. Okay, so now we have prepped the face with the primer. I am going to go ahead now and start doing the eyes and then I will follow in with the Chanel number no. one foundation which is one of my favorite foundations to use and I really don't even have an idea of how much is left in this bottle but can you see it there? 
yeah I don't even know if the camera picks up whether or not it's up to there anyway I've used it a, a fair bit anyway so let's go ahead and we're going to be using the rose palette by Chanel the it's this one here in case you need to know which one it's called yeah all right so big fluffy brush and oh sorry I totally picked up the wrong palette on my end with the rose there we go here it is here this is the palette that we're going to be using I'm just going to take out these little eyeshadow things because we're not I know they're just going to fall even if I'm using it straight from the palette it's going to fall now dipping in with this shade here it's like a taupey mid taupey shade we're going to put that all over the crease and just really just swipe it all over the lid but I'm trying not to get right down to the bottom I just really want to have a wash of color picking up a little bit more over the lid there because I really want a nice natural look we are going to give some definition to the eyes when we go in with the next shade so really just a wash of color you know what I'm going to use the little eyeshadow thing that the little eyeshadow brush that comes with it that's a sponge applicator tip and honestly they are good for putting on shimmers anyway so dipping into this deep dark brown shade i'm gonna pick that up and i'm going to start putting that on the outer corner of my eye and working that into a shape and with me, the classic look that I always go to is pointing it out towards the tail end of the eyebrow because I find that's the most flattering for my eye shape. But honestly, if this will flatter any eye shape at all. You can do a more rounded shape, but I like to elongate the shadow so that it has more like a striking effect, if you know what I mean. And this is a beautiful shade, by the way this brown so it's a good thing that we didn't go ahead and do the foundation because there is a little bit of fallout here but that's fine we can easily dust that off now I have been a fan of Chanel's eyeshadows for a while but they are just so damn expensive and it is like I said a luxury palette and I think you know going back when I was 18 I remember getting my first eyeshadow palette which was uh, this one here I'll just quickly show you when I was 18 and um, yeah that was a long time ago I think it was 1993 uh, maybe I think it would say 1980 no 1993 something like that <laughs> anyway okay so nice shape there with the other side of the brush we're going to go and dip into that beautiful peachy sort of shimmery shade right there and put that on the middle of the little oh that is so gorgeous and working that in towards the inner part of the eye that is a beautiful color and it's a beautiful pop of color to brighten up the whole eye as well making sure to blend it in with the deeper brown on the end there it's subtle you know Chanel is not about full-on impact they are a more subdued company when it comes to doing their shimmers and I like that I really do like that they are also known for doing some really bizarre color stories <laughs> as well it's just going to work the edges of that shadow there and i am going to clean up the tail end of the shadow there just with the shadow that we had initially applied just to work the edges and soften that out just to make sure it's nice and smooth really really subtle it's almost like a no makeup makeup eyeshadow look really okay now with the same brush I'm dipping into this uh, where is it here mid-tone brown mid-tone brown shade right there 
and we're going to just do the lower lash line there we go um, I'm thinking I want to add a bit more dimension to the upper lash line so I'm getting out a eyeliner brush and I'm going to dip into the deep dark brown shade again I'm going to spray it with some setting spray so that we can have a little bit more definition there we go this is one of my most favorite eyeshadow brushes as well this eyeliner brush which I don't believe you can get anymore but you may be able to still get it in a as part of a pack from Amazon there we go see just a little baby wing and if the brush is still wet you don't need to re-wet it with the setting spray it's just a little touch of dimension now I'm not going to be doing any eyeliner inside the eyes today but I will be applying some mascara and what I'm using today is the Wonder Wand Mascara by Ciate and it's one of my favorite mascaras ever so what we're going to do is we're going to coat the top and bottom lashes and I'll be back okay so now it's time to do the inner corner of the eyes and I am just going to be using that shade that we used for the middle part of the eyes there just using the other clean brush that it came with and I'm going to spray it so that we can have a bit more impact because like I said Chanel eyeshadows are very subdued and I want it to show up as best as possible and that's beautiful there so just a little makeup hack if you find that you need a bit more impact with inner corner highlights you just need to spray them with a bit of setting spray and it works might just put a bit of that on the top of part of the eyebrow there not that it's much but there we go now I have managed to get a little bit of the eyeshadow underneath there but I don't really mind too much moving on to eyebrows we are using the Anastasia Brow Freeze product if I can find it here it is here's just this one the um, soap brow brow freeze brow styling wax and I do have a clean spoolie brush that I'm going to use to pick some of that brow product up and I'm putting that pretty much on both of the eyebrows because I picked enough up to do both and I'm not at all putting anything else on I'm just simply laminating my brows so that they look groomed and polished and slick which is what I love about this product and like I said I bought it never used it well I used it once maybe maybe once or twice but it's been stored well so you know I'm not too fussed and that's pretty much it just a laminated natural look and if you do want to use a uh, product with this I would say going in go in with the pencil first or do you go in with it last I don't know I don't really do eyebrows I usually use the milk makeup um, brow gel which is pretty much a one and done for me and that's pretty much it leaving it like that all right so now um, going in with the rest of the face I am going to clean off that powder under the eye just with a stipple brush now if it smudges it's totally fine we're going to go in with foundation so I'm just giving this a shake the Chanel number no. one de Chanel foundation and putting that over the face and it was this one here in case you 
but in case I didn't show it to you first there we go back with the paddle brush and working that foundation into the skin and because we've already got a bit of concealer on it'll blend fine just to clean up that eyeshadow fallout edges of the nose under the chin okay now it's time for some bronzer and I am using an old product which I haven't used in a very long time by Marc Jacobs now this is the the accomplice bronzer in 56 starlet which is a very deep bronze a ready bronze actually so I'm going to be putting that on one tap only because that's all you need honestly because it's very I don't know if you can see there it is very pigmented so I'm just bronzing the face and this is going to be our contour as well as you can see how deep it is this like I said it's a very pigmented and a deep bronze shade really want to be bronzy today but over the nose there yeah. okay glowy bronzy goodness okay and now going in with a blush that I haven't used in a while uh, this one is by Chanel and it is the blush lumiere and it's like a peach rose color which I'll show you right here beautiful peach rose color and I'm going to get a special brush to dig that out because it's one of the harder type of blushes to actually get out I've noticed it, it does form a bit of a hard pan which you can sort of you know get out um, just by maybe running a spoolie brush over it or even getting sticky tape and lifting that layer off but I'm using my flower beauty brush which is quite dense and thick and it's really good at picking up harder type based products especially powder products that have gone sort of hard hard panned so I'm just running that brush over the palette and there we go just putting that over the apples of the cheek for a lovely peach rose color picking up a bit more it's got like a little bit of gold through it okay last but not least we are skipping the highlight we don't really need it we are going in with the Shantakai lip color uh, this one here is the lip chic cheek in Passiflora and I'll just give you guys a swatch it's just a beautiful neutral pink and having said that we have completed the look I'll just bring you guys in for a little bit of a closer look. So guys, I love luxury makeup, although these days I'm not buying it as much as I used to. I don't have a big selection, but I really want to make use of the ones that I've actually got so they don't go to waste. Now, I know I've got something in my eye. That is all for now. Thank you so much for your support. I hope you have a lovely day or night wherever you are and I'll see you all again soon. Bye for now.